to come up. So, this is the exit, the level you get from the secret exit. World Flower B. This is like a a, uh, a level that takes play in, place in the sky, I guess. One of those sky levels. So you have these bouncy things, and then you have this guy, these guys that bounce on them too. So you want to avoid them. Ah, oh, dang it. And then these Lakitu start coming into play. Try and knock on them if you can. The good thing is, once you get the gold rings, they uh, throw coins. Or, yeah, coins. Instead of that. I was about to say rings. And the star coin's way up here. So you obviously need... Uh, you obviously need a Lakitu item for that. Coins, yay, yay, yay. One ups. Like, I need those. I have 604 now. Nah. Uh, I should probably get my stash fire flower before something I get screwed over by this idiot Lakitu. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Oh, I didn't get a one-up? Well. Yeah. Alright, that was World Flower B. Just, uh, steal the Lakitu's, or kill them and then ride on the clouds. Yeah, that makes this level a lot easier. But even if you don't have those, the level is still pretty easy. So on to World Flower 2. Just three more levels, or two more... Whoa! God dang it. I didn't think that vine was going to turn with twist like that. But anyway, um, yeah, three more levels, or two more levels to the castle. Then there's the castle, obviously, and then that's the end of the world. Ah, I have to time better. My timing's off. Let me try this again. So... Do it when it's there. That's better. So don't don't wait until the thing's like right there and then do it, because then it's not gonna work. Then you have this pork pork and fish, whatever. Uh, kill it with these shells they provide you. That makes this level just a little easier. I mean, it takes away some stress. So you do that, and then you got these guys again. Oops, oops. Well, I just lost my mushroom, so... Ugh. God, it, it's all about timing in this. It's really all about timing. As you can see, I am a terrible timer, and as a result, I'm failing. So... So wait for it to come back, and then just time it right, and bam. So that goes away, and again, you want to like get it when it's like halfway coming towards you. You don't want to wait till it's almost at you, because then you just then you're screwed. Because then you jump like you saw what I'm doing. You jump, and it starts going away, and then you get very mad. And then you got this, which you're supposed to, like, ride on it. Now, you have to hit it when it's... Oh, I really? No. You have to, like, do it. It only... It dep tilts in the direction that this thing's in. So if it's more towards the right, it's going to go to the right. If it's more to the left, it's going to go to the left. If it's in the middle, it's not going to go anywhere. Which is normally a tough position just because you have to get down there to move it. But then, as a process, you might get... In, you might get end up killing yourself so you normally want to like wait till it's about to hit and then you just jump that's the way you get across
I just killed the way to the star coin. Dang it. Alright, there we go. Killed that puffin fishy again. You don't need that thingy. Uh, don't bother with these red coins. If you want to get them, you can, but you know, I don't want them because I'm just stupid like that. And there's a P block here. Get it. Ah! Hmm. Oh. Okay, I was not expecting that last part to come up. So that was very inconvenient. But at least it's our back at the checkpoint. They meant to wait a little longer there. <sighs> and... <coughs> okay, if you want the... Uh... If you want the little tanuki thing, it's like invincible and it helps you get to the level a lot faster. You can get it. I'm not exactly sure if I talked about this, but uh, what the problem is is that it'll highlight the level. Like it won't actually, it won't actually say you did it. You know, so actually you can do it and you can try to beat it for then. But keep in mind that you can use it, but in order to actually beat the game. You actually have to use it. You actually have to beat the level without using a tanuki suit or the um, golden tanuki suit. You have to just beat it with you and the power ups, or not the invincibility and anything. Which, for the most part, is not that hard. I mean, this game is actually fairly easy. These these walkthroughs only take like a few parts because I mean they could take only like three parts at max, but I'm I, I fail for some reason. So, no, 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 dang it, I, as soon as I jumped, I realized, ah, dang it, why did I do that? Hence, the fact that I'm failing, this, I should be, I should have been done with this a long time ago. But no. Wait for it. Wait for it. Bye. Uh... Just died right there. Actually, hold on. Ah, dang it, the thing's back. I want to get the star coin. No. Oh. Crap. Got it. Alright, there we go. Timed it right. Waiting for that thing to come back. Got it. So again, timing. And then you got this last part. No! No! Ugh. See, so, you, know, you got that last part, which you got those two connecting vines, then you have to jump and connect over all of those guys. Oh my god. I wish I was fire. <laughs> 